Hello guys, my name is Luke and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create something like this. Now, as you can see on this page, we have, as the title says, amazing blog posts. So we have three blog posts and when I hover over each card, we get this effect and this is dynamic. And this is actually pulling in the featured image of this blog post. If I click on it, you can see the featured image here. So if I go back, uh, we have scramble text, morph SVG, and we have this uh, marquee effect thumbnail. And here are the blog posts, as you can see, scramble text morph SVG. And if I click into one, we can see the featured image right here. It is being pulled in here. And this is possible with motion page, and I'm gonna teach you how to do this right now. Okay guys, so just to save on time, what I've done is I've gone ahead and made three posts already. So marquee effect morph SVG and scramble text. These are just normal blog posts. And if I open up these posts, you can see we just have some dummy text with featured images. And there's the third one, okay? So I have those. And what I've also done is I've already created a page just on the home page for now. And let me show you how this page has been set up in Bricks. So as you can see, nothing too special. So once again, this is more specific to motion page rather than design. It's not too difficult to make these cards. So we do have some dynamic data in here, like the post title, the excerpt, the author name, and this five months ago is also uh, using a custom code block. And here is what it looks like on the front. So as you can see, I can hover over these. When I click them, they go to another template. Uh, but the main focus is this page right here. So what we want to happen is when we hover over each card, we want to display the featured image on the cursor. And we can now do that thanks to motion page. But there's just a few prerequisites that we need to do. So first of all, let me open motion page and I'll show you step by step how we're going to achieve this. Before that, I will show you this card, uh, just how it's kind of made here in bricks, if you like. So if I expand this section, so I've created an element called blog loop. Now this is just basically a grid and in here I have my card, which is a query loop. So you can see I made the link the post URL, which is bricks dynamic data. And then in the query itself, this is how I've set it up. So I'm just doing six posts per page, type is post, uh, but that's basically it. So yeah, it's just a basic query loop and I'm targeting the posts, post type of post as well, which is default in here. Okay, so let's go and create a new timeline. And you'll notice that the homepage loads by default here. Uh, let's just rename our timeline something easy and obviously we are targeting the home page here. Now if you want to use uh, the same effect on different pages then don't forget to check this box here. That just means that the timeline will load on all pages across your website. But since I have this only on the home page, I'm just going to uncheck that. And the trigger type wants to be a mouse follower because I want the image, the featured image to display when I hover over these cards. And the last important step is to select image slash video cursor because this one is going to give us an attribute to use. Okay. So as you can see, we have this yellow box and it says add attribute MP cursor media to the element to display an image or video when hovering over it. Okay, so MP cursor media, let's go back to bricks. So if I hover over my card, well, my card is my query loop. I also have a content, which is also kind of a parent to this design, uh, but it should work on card as well. But what I'm gonna do is put it on content and you can see here in attributes, I'm gonna add attributes and the name needs to be MP cursor media with hyphens. Like this. So as you can see, I've added this attribute. So when I save it, now, because this is a query loop as well, should be three instances of this. So let's go back to motion page. I'm gonna save timeline and refresh. And now you can see here, it says elements found three. So that basically means it's working already. Now, if I open up Unsplash and just get a, a random URL here, so I'm just gonna copy image link. Now in Bricks Builder, I'm gonna copy that value here. Now it's not gonna do anything in Bricks Builder, but if I save this and go back to motion page, refresh this. Now you can see when I hover over each card, we get the URL that I just pasted into bricks. Now, obviously we want this to be dynamic. We do not want a static URL like this, and it needs to fetch the featured image of each blog post. So what I need to do is in bricks builder, I need to put here a function or I need to echo something uh, where we can fetch the featured image dynamically. 
So before I do that, let's just give this uh, image some styling first of all. So I'm going to put the width to 450 pixels just to make it a little bit wider. I'm also going to match that in the media as well. I'm going to set the height to 250. Now this one here, this is kind of like the parent wrapper of the image. So I'm just going to make them matching here. I'm going to add a border radius of something subtle, something like 10 pixels. The transform, I'm going to keep it to zero and I'll show you why in a second. And opacity also as well. So I'm going to set the border radius on the image itself also the same and object fit cover is fine. Okay, now in the hover tab, what I'm going to do is set the scale to one. So now it's going to give this effect where when I hover over it, it kind of scales up because remember default it is set to scale zero and the opacity also is taking effect. So now we have this nice effect going on. Now when I move my cursor across the card, you can see it's kind of going smaller. Now that's because of the squeeze. If I remove that, now it's just going to be much more linear like this. I'm just going to refresh my window here because I was getting a smaller circle from before, but now it seems to be fixed. So just refresh the window. I'm going to enable the squeeze again because I do like this effect. Now let me just check the front end because I am seeing a small glitch. Okay, yeah, so the front end seems to be okay. Um, yeah, so this design is looking good to me. The only thing that we need to do now is pull in uh, the featured images dynamically. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm going to be using uh, custom PHP, uh, so feel free to follow along. I'm not sure if Bricks offers uh, its own dynamic data. Uh, I'm sure there is, but uh, I I'm not aware of it. So I will be making a PHP snippet to do what I need to do. So for this, I will be using WP Code Box. Uh, however, you are free to use whatever you like. You could even pop this snippet into Bricks Builder itself using a code block. There's also Fluent Snippets, which is a free plugin uh, which you can add PHP snippets to. But for this, I will be using WP Code Box. It's just my personal preference. Uh, so I'm gonna make this snippet here. Fetch Featured Image. Now remember, this is going to go inside of an attribute and that means that we're already going to be inside of the query loop. So I'm just going to create a new function here called get featured image URL. Okay, so let's do featured image URL equals and we need to get the post thumbnail URL. This is a uh, built into WordPress. And for that, we need to get the ID of the current loop that we're in. Okay, well, let's check if a featured image exists and if it doesn't, we'll just return null. So if featured image URL exists, then obviously we want to return it. Otherwise we'll just return null. Okay, so if I save this here and then I'm gonna activate it. Now let's grab this function and we'll echo it in our attribute. So let's go back to Bricks Builder and here instead of using a hard coded URL now, what we can do is do echo and then echo our function like so. So save this and let's take a look. I'm gonna refresh the home page. Okay, so as you can see, we're not getting anything returned. I'm just gonna inspect this, see what I'm looking at. Okay, so I can see the attribute name, but it looks like it's returning null. Now I do know that there's an image in there. So actually, yeah, I've just remembered that Bricks now requires us to sign all custom code and they do offer a filter that we can add so that we can add this uh, particular code and make it work. So let's do that at the top. Now Bricks do have documentation on this. I will link it below. So we need to add a filter and it's Bricks code echo function names. In here we need to return and I need to return my function name this one okay and that needs to go in quotation marks like with a comma make sure i have my semicolons okay so i'm going to save this and hopefully fingers crossed that was the reason why it wasn't working so let's go back to the front okay refresh okay yes so bricks has the security feature so now as you can see it's returning the um, featured images when i hover over my blog card which is pretty nice pretty cool effect as you can see 
so there you have it guys thank you once again for watching and we'll be back very soon with another video thank you very much cheers